And did Microsoft just make the perfect Apple mouse? Let me explain. All right, welcome back to my channel. And what we're gonna do today is, I was just a little bit shocked by this, so I wanted to make a quick video on this. Um, I think Microsoft just made the perfect Apple Mouse and they didn't even know it, or maybe they did. Stay tuned for that because there's maybe some reasons why they th I think they actually knew what they were doing with this. Um, before I jump into that though, so let's go through three other mice here. I'm gonna have links to the description of all these mice in the des video description if you wanna check any of these other ones out because these are all good mice. But this one I think is the best Apple, kind of Apple mouse you can buy right now. And it's by Microsoft. So stay tuned for the end, near, near the end of the video for this one. I'm gonna go through all the features of this. Very simple mouse, but it's very good and very inexpensive. So let's start with the Magic Mouse 2. You can see it right here. I'll have close-ups of all these things so you can get a better look at them as well. This mouse is what I guess Apple's elegant you know, vision of a mouse is. While it's very sleek, it's very heavy in the hand. Um, it doesn't really have a scroll wheel. You have to, you know, it does have a virtual scroll wheel. We all know that. And it has the buttons, but they're not separated. So it's very difficult to use. This is a very polarizing mouse, I guess. A lot of video editors hate this, and some of them love it, but most of them hate it, I think. They use something like, you know, some of the, the more, you know, different type of mice you can buy that have a lot of different buttons to help them out. So long story short, though, this is very, you know, beautiful mouse, but it's not really functional for a lot of people until you kind of master it. So. I mean, while I like it, it's, it's expensive. It's about a hundred bucks. And uh, if you want to pick up a Magic Mouse 2, and uh, I'm gonna have a link to this one. It's 75 bucks, you know, refurbished on Amazon right now. So if you want to check that out for 75 bucks, it's a nice mouse, it's elegant, but this is not the perfect mouse for Apple, even though Apple created this one. So as I was trying to find things with, you know, my channel is more about pricing and I like to find inexpensive stuff to help people out, right? So the first mouse I found here that was kind of to replace the Apple mouse, this is not a perfect one either. And I'll tell you why it's good, but it works really well, number one. But this is another one by Microsoft. This is not the one I'm gonna talk about though. Stay tuned for that. This is one by Microsoft and I'll have the model number and all that stuff in the description of the video. But this one's gonna have a much higher profile on it. So that's number one. It doesn't really match the low profile of the Magic Mouse. Um, and also, it does come with a scroll wheel, which is a positive, and it has the separated buttons, which is a positive. And overall, it just uses a standard, you know, standard just type battery in it, like a AAA. But the good thing about this is it tracks really well, and it's Bluetooth. So it's Bluetooth only. It's by Microsoft, and you can you know, hook that up to any Mac computer via Bluetooth, and it works flawlessly. So if you're looking for a great mouse, this is an option. But the reason I kind of recommended this one was because of the price. Right now, you can pick it up for $12.99 a Microsoft mouse, not even an off-name one. $12.99, I'll link to this in the description. Comes in eight different colors, but it's not the perfect one. So the next one was by HP. And this one I actually got much closer to the Apple one because this one, the profile is very similar. I'll have kind of close-ups of that. It fits really nice in your hand. It does have the scroll wheel also, and it has the separation of the buttons. It looks elegant. You know, I have a kind of a white marble design here, but it, and the one I, I can't find this one right now, and, and it, it changes on Amazon. So I linked to a camo one, but search for the HP Z3700, and you will be surprised. There's a lot of different colors, but I can't find the exact one like this one. Long story short though, um, you know, this is just a, a great low pro profile design and this works really well as, you know, as well. So this one's gonna obviously have a connector piece like this, which is gonna be for, you know, you can use it for Wi-Fi. And so that was another reason it wasn't the perfect mouse either. Um, so long story short though, you know, check this one out if you think, you know, you want a mouse that's gonna be inexpensive. This one comes in at around $17. So again, $17 versus almost over a hundred bucks for the Magic Mouse, and you get more functionality with the HP mouse. Again, the quality is not quite as far as, you know, the same as the Apple. It's not gonna be as heavy in the hand or anything like that, but nothing is. I mean, that's a very heavy mouse, but I do recommend this one. So what did Microsoft do with this perfect, this perfect mouse now? Let me go ahead and explain, and we'll get into the meat of what this is all about. All right, and I behold to you the Microsoft KTF00056. Who knows about the name, right? Um, anyways, here it is. It comes in this nice elegant pack. I actually got it in Glacier. Um, that's the color. It comes in eight different colors, which I wanna explain. I think that's why Microsoft is trying to go after Apple clients. But this is the Glacier. It's almost like a white. It's got a little tint of gray, so it matches you know, it matches the Mac stuff fairly well. It's not gonna be a perfect match, obviously. Now, this is gonna be $21.99. That's number one why it's a great mouse versus 100 bucks. The other reasons are, is gonna be, you know, it has the two button functionality. It says six buttons. I think you can, 
you know, I think it's got the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel has a button on it. And it has a metal scroll wheel on it. It has the left and right button. I'm not exactly sure where any of the other buttons are, but um, long story short, it's a very simple mouse. The back plate is elegant. It comes with a kind of a magnetic little device where you can take the thing, the, the back plate off for batteries. It takes two AAA batteries, and it says it'll last up to a year, which is a really long time on two AAA. But this back case is kind of cool because it just it moves on and off via like a magnet, which is kind of cool. So it's an elegant mouse. The quality is there. It seems like it's about the same quality as the Apple mouse. And uh, just to give you quick dimensions, it's 5.31 by 3.46 by 1.42 inches. It's compatible with Bluetooth 4.0 and up. And uh, you know, it basically tracks perfect on any surface that I put it on. It calls, it's, they call it like blue tracking technology. I have no idea what that is, but it just tracks really, really well. And it's a great mouse. So why do I think that Microsoft knows what they're doing with this? Well, they matched a very, very similar profile with the Magic Mouse. If you check that out, I mean, they're almost, they're very close. It's a very low profile, very elegant mouse, and it's got, you know, really high quality buttons. It's got the kind of the slip off plate. I know it's for the Surface. That's really what it's for, the Microsoft Surface. But the reason I, you know, I'm gonna just tell you, the reason I think it's, you know, they're going after Apple is because of the colors. So if you look at the colors, this thing comes in, you know, it's gonna come in the Glacier, then ice blue, mint, petal, like the pastel blue, peach, poppy red and sandstone pink. And I looked at those colors and they matched the new IMAX really well. Um, I think they're, they're not exactly one for one, but they're pretty close matches to the brand new 24 inch IMAX that came out. So was Microsoft, you know, I know they don't have all those colors, at least I don't think so on the surface. So is Microsoft trying to kind of like, you know, just under the table, put one out there so that Apple lovers might pick one of these up? That's what I want to say. I don't know. But anyways, take a look at that mouse. I just want to wrap this up. It was supposed to be a short video, but if you're looking for one of the best mice you can buy, as long as you don't need a ton of buttons on it, a ton of functionality like that. I mean, I know there's other, you know, the master mouse and things like that that are a lot, you know, they're very specific for reasons like gaming. This is not a gaming mouse, obviously. But this is just a typical, really good low profile mouse, high quality. $21.99, that's what I got it for. I'm not sure what it's going for now. I picked it up, I think, around like the special Black Friday or something. But just check around. It's got 4.7 out of 5 rating, over 3,500 reviews on Amazon. I'll have links to all this in the description. And uh, like I said, it's, it's something that I just, you know, kind of piqued my interest, so I picked one up and I loved it. So if you guys are looking for a new mouse for Apple stuff, you might love this one too. I recommend it. And uh, definitely support my channel if you can. I make a ton of videos like this. If you can subscribe, it's just going to help me out. And I'll be able to make more to show you some new products that are out there that's going to help people that love Apple. I do some stuff on Microsoft and Chrome, but Apple's my primary, you know, what I go after. So I do a whole bunch of different electronics too, though. You never know what I'm going to do. It just Whatever way the wind blows, right? But we'll talk to you soon. My closing statement, I like to do Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And also my final one is... Peace.